Okay, so we are in the penetration mode. We're into the first of the caves. I've brought a decent lamp with me this time because you cannot underestimate how much slate absorbs all the light. Now, what we can see here is a bunch of supporting walls which have been here since the 1930s. Um, it's starting to get a bit fucking iffy down here, but you'll notice there's a door down there. So let's go and have a look. Being very careful not to touch anything. Now this is, I think, the one that was the most modernised. Yep, climb over there. Yeah, this is the one that was the most modernised. It was, uh, it was electrified. It had electrics. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to come out, but there's the sparkly stuff that Matt was seeing in his. Uh... Oh blimey, that looks a bit ropey, doesn't it? Hey, nice slab that's just asking to come out. Um, I'm going to get under that quickly. So yes, this was all. This has all been electrified. Um, there's still beams holding stuff up. Not all of them, obviously. Uh, what have we got down here? So some of this has fallen out. We've got some walls here. What's up here? Okay, that's just a just a support wall. Uh, right, let's go through here. Round to the left. So this is very dark down here. So big old okay through there. Right, okay. This is, I think, yes, that's the uh, the electric supports that we can see from the other cave from my previous video on this. Because there is the hole in the support wall that I was looking through, I think. Looks a lot like it. These walls are beautiful. So. So we've got some nice old rusty steel. What happens if we go through further? Got some bits of slate. And what's down there? Oh, there's more through here. That looks very, very ropey. Not going in there today, I don't think. To come back for that one with friends. So here, big old bit of cave. Well, quarry basically. More electrical installation. And a bit of a hole. I'm fairly sure I know where that goes goes to. Now there's a yeah. Okay, there's another there's another one through there. That's collapsed, unfortunately. There's been quite a lot of collapse down here. Not surprising. It's been closed for a hundred years. I've got a hundred watt lamp and it's still looking black. So back into the bit that's got the walls. What comes around this way? Okay. That's I think where the big hole goes through to. Yes. So I've just come around the corner. That's the big hole with the collapse, just down there. Oh, but a big hole, it's not very deep. It is not deep at all. Quite easily walk down there. And then what have we got up here? We've got some more 
gallery which has collapsed in a big way roof beams have come in so that was supported at one point what goes through there does that go any further I don't know um, hmm do we dare go in doesn't look to go any further but I'm not sure it's a fucking big slab all the footprints yes there are footprints let's go and have a look oh there's more through there okay that's almost a crawl okay fuck me getting a bit ropey now this so there's actually quite a lot more right, I'm bottling it here okay not going into anything really scary unless I've got people with me Decent boots. Okay, what else have we got? Well, we've got some more very big beams holding stuff up. Nice working marks on the walls. Right, that comes back into the collapse, into the bit that I just bottled. There's some more collapse here, not much. Not too bad things, it's been raining recently, it's quite wet down here. Look, there's a big wooden box, which has been down here for the best part of a hundred years, behind this wall. So, that is a, a portion of cave number one because here we're back at the entrance nearly out of the road so there we go cave number one